Ever wanted to know if it's possible to password protect your Articulate Storyline e-learning course? Now in this video, I'll guide you through the different options and show you how to set up a simple password slide for your next Articulate Storyline project. So if you search the internet uh, to have a password protect your Articulate Storyline e-learning course, you find a few forum topics on the e-learning heroes uh, website. Now I think that there are basically two solutions. The first solution I want to show you right now uh, in a moment, and that is to create uh, an input field with some triggers. So a person has to fill in something and if it's correct, he can go to the next page. Uh, but there's one big disadvantage for this solution and that is that uh, a user or users around him can see what he fill in, fills in in the password field. Now, if you don't want this, Matthew Bibby has made uh, another solution where he creates uh, an external HTML file with a password field and in this solution you can't see the password. So what I will do in this video, I'll show you first the simple solution and next to that I will uh, talk through the solution that Matthew created on the internet and I also have uh, a link to the, in the description below to his solution. Now, let's start with our first solution. Now let's go and create the simple solution. Now the first thing that I'm gonna do is create a trigger that uh, disables the next button on this slide. So I'll create a trigger here that says change the state of my next button to disabled when the timeline starts on this slide. So now a user can go to the next slide in an e-learning course. So and the next thing I'm gonna do is create an input field. So I'll go to insert here, go to the input fields, and here choose for a text entry field and I draw it on my slide. So there's now a text entry field and I can say fill in your password. So and the next step is to add some triggers. So in Articulate Storyline every text entry field has a variable attached to it and this is here text entry. So what I'm gonna do now is create a new trigger and I'm gonna change the state of the next button to normal, but I do this when uh, a variable changes and the variable is text entry, and now I'm gonna check which will be filled in. So for instance, if the filled in phrase in text entry is password. So the password is password right now. So if someone fills in password here, uh, the next button will be available and the user can go next to the next slide. So let's check if this works. So I'm now in Articulate Storyline Preview mode and as you can see here, my next button is disabled. So what I will do here, I'll fill in my password. Password. And I have to do it correctly. I'll enter it and if I enter it, you'll see now that the next button is available so user can go to the next page. What you can do to make it a little bit more uh, or a little bit better for a user is to create a check button because a user has to enter right now and is he, if he doesn't enter, uh, yeah, the next button won't be available. So what we'll do is close our preview and add a next button. So go to insert button and it says check here and I will change this trigger. So I'll double click it and the trigger panel will open. So this will won't be on variable chains, but on button click one. So what we'll do is we change the state of the next button to normal when the user clicks button one, that, that is this button, if text entry is pass value password. So let's do this. So you see I'm in preview mode right now. My next button is disabled. I fill in password and I'll check and you'll see now that my next button is enabled. Now, what you also can do is uh, create a, a, a warning message if the password wasn't correctly. Uh, but what you saw, the only thing here is that the password yeah, is visible. And if you want that, uh, if you won't, and if you won't want this, now, there is another solution for this. And I want to show you the solution right now. So Matthew created a, a PDF file and you can find it on the eLearning Heroes forum and I will also uh, share the link to you in the comments below this video. And here you can see his uh, solution. Now, what he did, he 
uh, opened Storyline and created a text variable called password. Uh, and also a submit button. So you can see here and next to that, he created two slides, correct and incorrect. So if you, the password is correct, you go to the correct slide. If the password is incorrect, you go to the incorrect slide. I think that this is very logical, but uh, he has also a submit button, but he won't use an import field from Articulate Storyline, what he does, he creates a password field. So what he do is he creates a, a file called password.html. You can also create it in, uh, for instance, Notepad. And here you can find what it must go in that HTML file. So a doc type, HTML tag, a head tag, another head tag, a body tag, and in the body you see an import with the type of password and the ID is pass. Now, and because the type is password, the browser will show the asterisks, so you won't see what a user fills in. And the ID will be uh, used to see what's happening uh, for the password field, because you have to uh, yeah, know it in Articulate Storyline. So, and now he has also done some JavaScript. So here you can find the JavaScript. If the password is this password, then it has to do something. So here you see JavaScript with uh, the player, the uh, variables from Articulate Storyline, and he uh, retrieves the password that is filled in the password field, and then he pushes the password field password variable back to Articulate Storyline. Now here he, he uh, shows you the complete file, so you can uh, copy this and paste it in your own HTML file and paste it in your Storyline project. So uh, it's yeah pretty pretty easy, uh, but you have to do something with HTML pages. Uh, and if you don't want this, you can also use my solution. So I'll say, uh, share the link to this document in the comments below. Uh, yeah, this I think are the two best options to create password slides in your Articulate Storyline course. Uh, now I want to say a big thanks to Matthew that he created this, and I hope to see you in the next video. I'm transforming my Articulate Storyline classroom training and also my YouTube tutorials to a laser-focused online course on how to create engaging e-learning training with Articulate Storyline. Now, are you interested? You can join my waiting list and you'll be the first one to know when my online course will launch. You can find the link to the waiting list in the description of this video below. And if you want to create great engaging e-learning in Articulate Storyline, make sure that you get my free step-by-step -step guide on how I create e-learning in Articulate Storyline. And I know for sure that it will help you because it describes my whole process that I use for every e-learning module in Articulate Storyline that I built. And was this video useful to you? Then hit the like button below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos.